Hello and welcome to another free code session. My name is Jason Bach and I'm going to actually add a feature to rocks. At least that's my hope, which is adding open generics. I may have mentioned this in some episodes previous past of potentially doing this and I want to give it a shot. I want to see if it's actually possible. So I, th I think it should be possible, but I have been surprised in the past when I try to add something or fix something or whatever. And I think, oh, I think this shouldn't be too bad. And then I realize I've forgotten about 15 things that I didn't realize and it's either harder or it doesn't work or whatever the case may be. But we're going to try this because I think it's going to add some more flexibility. And I don't think any other mocking library has the ability to do open generics. So that's another thing I have on my list of things to do is to create a comparison application or a document or something, but just shows the different frameworks and what features they have or don't have. And I don't think any of them have open generics, but we will be the first. So that's cool. I am a little sad today. I am recording this on a Sunday, March 10th, and the upcoming week is the week of the MVP Summit. Um, if you don't know about the MVP Summit or really MVP program, you can go to this site mvpmicrosoft.com, and it will talk about the one program, the MVP program here. This is something that I've actually been a part of for, I think now, 18 years, if I remember right. And when I first joined and when I would go to the summit, which is an event every year, they'd have us stay at these hotels in Seattle, and they'd put you up in a hotel room, and that was for free, and you could go to the event for free, and you could hang out with people on the, the different teams and the things like that. And I thought it was, at the time, I just thought it was really cool to be to be in an event like that, to be able to talk to so many people both at Microsoft and in the community and 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 all that stuff. So, and, and I still find value in the program. But over the years, it's changed. It changed at one point where they would pay for your hotel room if you stayed with somebody else. So fortunately, I would stay with my friend Rocky, and then that was fine. And then COVID hit, and they only did the events online, so there was no cost in that case. But now they have it as hybrid. But if you want to actually attend the event, you have to pretty much pay for everything out of pocket. The hotel you have to pay for, the rides to the event you have to pay for, and the airplane, or the if you had to actually fly in, that was always on you. But the the point is, is that it's it's something that, for various reasons, I just can't go to anymore. So it does make me feel a little sad not to be able to do that. But you know, things change, circumstances changes, and you just have to roll with it. I'll still check out some sessions online and see what they're like. But you know, it, it's just. It's one of those things that I could sit here and go think about the good old days from 15 years ago and, and what it was like and to where it is now. And it's, it is different, but at the same time, it's like things do change and you're going to have good memories about how things went and how things were, were, were done or, or some of the, the memories that you have. In fact, I think there's a video that is still out there. I'll post a link to it if we can find it. And it's of me singing when they actually did a like an event at the rock and roll. I can't remember what the name of it is, but it's not the roll rock and ugh, rock and roll hall of fame. It's something like that in Seattle. And they had like a, uh, a band that you could go up and sing and, and I must've had enough libations that I did decide to try it. And somebody recorded it. Darcy, I'm looking at you. And, I, and I had a lot of fun with that. You know, again, a lot of good just memories about things that happened at the summit. But that's just not the way it is anymore. So, you know, the, the one thing, good thing, though, is that I had my birthday this past weekend. And both my older son and I share the same birth date. So um, we always get a cake and, you know, get the picture taken. And it's it's kind of fun, you know, to have a... a a kid that's got the same birth date as you. So I still got some spare birthday cake. So I plan to have a piece before I go to bed tonight. <laughs> so that'll make up for it. 
We'll see how far we can get with this. I'm imagining that this is going to take some time to iron out all the issues that are probably going to show up with this, but we're never going to find out what they are until I start. I did make a list here. In fact, I should do what I always do, which is make sure that I save this as notes in the repository. And I, and I do this on purpose because I, I just find it, you know, not that they're readable or anything like that, but just good from a historical perspective. Like, what did I do to actually get to the point of finishing that feature or fixing that bug? So the first thing I'm going to do is I have to create a new version of the attributes that take a type of. Okay, we can't pass in an open generic to the generic parameter. So we're going to have to have a type of. And one of the things I realized here is that I should say the type to mock. And then we'll do the same thing here. Now, this is, oh yeah, I can do that. Okay. I can have a version that is not generic and that is just fine. So we'll do that. And then you don't have that and that's fine. But you don't have documentation on it. Yes, I know. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Well, <laughs> why? Like, why did I make that a primary constructor? That made no, I would not have done that otherwise. I don't know why that was even there. Weird. Okay. But we will do this. And then what we want is a public type mock type. Sure. And we just want that to be a getter. And then here we'll do public type mock type where this dot mock type is equal to that. And then we'll say creates a new instance. And then the parameter is the type the cheese, the <laughs> type to mock. There we go. Gets the type to mock. And then we're also going to do this with a make. And again, why I did that, don't know. But, you know, stuff like that happens. Of type make built. And then this will be make that will be this and then that will be this there we go i should also grab that there and i think we got everything we need there so that's good so hey you know i already have one version of these things here too but of course as i this is just a pre preliminary Initial list. And the next thing I need to do here is handle non-generic attributes in Generator. Okay. So what does that mean? Well, if I come back here and I go to Rock Attribute Generator, we are currently looking for, if I remember right, yeah, and for att attribute with metadata name. No, 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 I'm sorry. It's down here. Okay. So we call get information. Ah, yes, that's. Oh, um, oh, well, this might actually be the same, but completely different. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to need to do here is this implementation is assuming that I have a generic attribute. What I want to do is one that doesn't. So. This second string here is the attribute name. And so with that, I'm looking for the fully qualified name. And then I look in the attributes type arguments and that's how I find it. So it's not quite the same thing. I'd like to do this in such a way that it's a little smarter than what I am actually doing right now. What I'm doing right now is fine because that's all I had before, but now I have it where I want to grab from the constructor this type thing. And then the rest of this code is the same because this type to mock is a type symbol. 
I believe that what's going to be passed in to that parameter is also going to be a type symbol. I'm really not sure we're going to find out, but because again, I have to find out if you pass in type of something, what is actually going to come into the attribute? It's just going to be a, a exploration, so to speak. So let's just do it kind of hard coded. So we'll say here, get information from generic. And then we'll also have a version here that is get information from non generic. And so we will get my create from generic types and mock make from generic types. I don't like those names, but non generic, non generic. And then we'll say non here. The problem is, is that what I'm passing into this is like for, for attribute with metadata name, you're just passing in the name, the no, which is what's called, and then the transform. So there's no real, as far as I can tell here, way I can like sneak in something. I could make this comma delimited. And then because this, no, I can't. That's right. Because this actually uses this and it assumes it is a legitimate attribute name. So what I could do, though, is could I? Yeah, I could sneak it in by doing capture. Okay, so let's actually do that. We're going to do this and we're going to say bool is generic because that's fine. And then we'll say we get the attribute here and now we say if is generic, well, we get the var type to mock that way, else we're going to do it a different way. Okay, so now we can say get information where this is true, and that is true. And then we don't have to have two versions of that function. Okay, so this one will go away. Uh, not all that. <laughs> no, we don't want all that. We want just that. Okay. So now what we're going to do here is, well, we could say this. Because if, if is generic, we do that. Otherwise, we're going to do something else. Um, well, we're going to do type dot get type, but we want to say here is attribute class constructor arguments of zero because we're assuming you're going to call this if it's generic there is no actually yeah that should work i think that should work because if it's generic we assume you're passing it into the type arguments you have to pr provide that otherwise if you're saying it's not generic we're assuming it is the non-generic version of these attributes. Thanks for reminding myself. And we want to get it from the constructor arguments. So what is that? Constructor arguments, the value as I type symbol. And actually, we are going to do a hard cast. And now why are you complaining? Why can't I do this? Oh, fine, whatever. Ugh, there. And we're done. <laughs> so, yeah, how do we, we want to start building some tests around this so we can play with this. What, my end debug, okay, good. So, not the models, the generators. We want to have attribute generator tests. That's actually if I put an attribute in the code. What I want to do is I have rock attribute generator tests, which isn't, I mean, it is, I guess. We could put it here and refactor and maybe break some of this stuff out later. We're going to do public static async task create with non generic attribute async. Because I, I just want to test right now. And it can be this. I mean, it doesn't have to be generic. This is perfectly fine. 
are generated. In fact, we should be able to then, well, actually, okay, let's make it simple. We want to have a simple version here. We want to say rock create um, I service. And we're just going to say string get data. We don't, we don't care what this does right now. We just want it to be showing that we have something. Okay. So we'll do that. And then we'll say, grab the code down here. And then we'll come up here and we'll put that there. And then this is going to be I service. Let's see what happens when that flies. Oh, that's, pfft. well, it's going to work in the sense that type of that. That's what we really want. Okay. This should have probably, yeah, it did everything the way we expect it to. But I want to see, because I don't have the confidence that I actually did this right. We're going to do that. Okay. And then we're going to do this. And we're going to see what this actually is coming up. Oh, well, that's interesting. We have a rock create attribute. It does take a type. So type of mock test I service. Passing that in. Why didn't it even do anything? <laughs> that's like really unexpected. I, I did not expect it to like die that badly. So we do this, do that. Oh, well, <laughs> that would explain it <laughs> from non-generic. And then we do this. I wonder if I could pull all these, like if I said this, combine with mock make generic types, combine. No, you can't do that. It'd be, it'd be kind of nice if I could just mash all these together and then pass it in as one, but we'll, we'll come back to that. We'll actually just put a to-do here. Is there some way I could combine all of these so I make one, one output call, create out. All right. No? No, no, no. Well, it's going to run, but it's not going to. Oh, I did go into debugger. Okay. So we do that. Instructor arguments. There's a length one. That's zero. This value is that. So what do we have for type for mock? Hey, look at that. Would you look at that? Hey. Hey. All righty. So now if we come back here and we did this, that would be all that code. Okay, so that's good. I mean... We've got that working now, but that's really not what I want to do. What I want to do is this. I want to have a service like that. And so let's actually change this. So that is my service. And what I want to do now is say, I service of, now that's valid, okay? But what we're going to actually put in here, I don't even know if this is going to work. I'm kind of curious to see what this actually produces right now. Let's see. Well, it errors. <laughs> it completely errors out. Where does it error out? Not here. It does realize that it's a type arguments. It has two type arguments. And so it gets past to here, but then no, nah, it doesn't. It doesn't break on and handle the exception. I thought I had that set. Hmm. All right. Well, that's not entirely surprising. I w wish it would have break on exceptions cross. No. Uh, I thought I had enabled just my code. If I check this off, it's going to take more time to debug, but that may be what we actually are looking for. But for whatever reason, um, it is not it, it's not coming back and getting all the way through. It's failing somewhere, which isn't entirely unsurprising because I've always assumed that there are no uh, type parameters. Oh, that's another thing I just remembered I need my list in here. 
share parameters, and constraints. Because if the type does have a constraint, which I'm not doing right here, like if I said where t is class, where t return is a struct, they have to be, I think, at at least the expectation level. Okay, we'll we'll get to that later. So I don't I don't want to forget that. Okay, so we're not hand we're we're just not doing this correctly yet. But what I'm going to do is figure out where this is at least failing, and then in the next episode we'll pick it up and start to dive deeper into this and see how do we actually get this to work. Thank you all for watching. Leave comments and questions below. See you in the next episode.